Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Film Sessions. <clears throat> yo, I'm one half of the Path Nation podcast, uh, Rashad. Um, and today, I know it's been a, a minute, but today we're going to look at uh, Deontay Thompson, safety uh, from Alabama. Uh, he's 6'2, 194 pounds. Um, you know, let's let's just get this off the rip. First of all, like, subscribe, uh, and meet me in the comments after this if you got some beef. Uh, but let's let's talk about uh, how my my feelings. Uh, let's talk about my feelings about uh, Alabama secondary uh, personnel. I don't I don't like Alabama secondary any of them ever out of the draft. Uh, it's just because their front four are so, or their front seven really are so good uh, year in and year out that uh, the secondary doesn't get tested much, and when they do get tested, they kind of get exposed. Um, so, and that's what's going to happen in the NFL most likely because a lot of teams reach for these guys. Um, and again, it's not a hundred percent of the time. Obviously they do have some good guys, Landon Collins. There are some, some good, uh, members, uh, that have a uh, good secondary members that have come out of Alabama. It's just not a, a blanket knock. Uh, but it's just one of those things, uh, that, you know, I, I, I personally feel that I don't like, uh, drafting anybody out of Alabama secondary so that's just a personal thing so all right um Deontay Thompson he is consensus um uh, number one uh safety and um I I'm I saw him in a national championship game and he got exposed to me but let's let's go ahead and uh and jump into the film here as soon as it comes up there we go and as you can see it's not on him but safeties can't let this happen right let me take this back because I don't think we got to see. We ain't get to see it. I'm going to take it back for y'all just so y'all can see what happened. So he's playing. It looks like he's playing. Yeah, he's cut, trying to come all across the feet. Safeties can't let that happen, uh, especially as a free safety. You're supposed to prevent big plays like that. Um, but, you know, he obviously they were trying to double somebody, and he was shading one of the other receivers. Uh, so the other one got loose. So, um, again, let's keep in mind he's number 14. See, he's playing free. He's he's free in the back. The strong safety typically, look at that. Strong safety is the one typically up near the box. Free safety is the one uh, manning the deep passes. Yeah, I, I like to see my safeties come up too and play the, uh, play the run. I like a physical safety. And see, he took a bad angle right there. And I'm sorry if I'm harsh. It's just that I, these dudes are oh so overrated sometimes. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a buck. That's a good tackle. It's a good tackle. He's six two. He's got good size. I like, I like to see some more, uh, some more weight on him. But he's got good size. Yeah, and if you've if you've uh, watched my DK Metcalf video, I believe I have one of him versus Alabama, and so oh, that's a nice hit. I give him that. That's a nice force fumble by him. That's a nice force fumble. Maybe he might change my mind a little bit. We'll see. Now he had his his hat on the helmet, so or his hat on the football. So uh, that's a nice force fumble by him. I felt like other dude. Lodged it out a little bit and he came and put the icing on the cake. Nice. He's a very good tackler. He's a very good tackler. I'll give him that. I mean, you want your safety to be able to tackle. Last line of defense, literally. Especially in the free like he's playing. That's a nice pass breakup. Wow, it was three of y'all. Y'all let him. Y'all should have. One of y'all should have called that jump.
Mm. It's a bad throw. Yeah, see, he, he is taking bad angles on these, on these deep balls, man. The quarterback puts it there, he's going to look really bad. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the, the front four puts so much pressure, makes makes the quarterback throw, throw inaccurate footballs that these dudes don't ever get a chance to, like, he was burnt, like, badly on that previous play. Missed the tackle right there. I just said he was a good tackler too. That would that would have been damn near safety. Alright, it's him versus Louisville. Louisville ain't really nothing, so I'm it's I'm so it shouldn't be shouldn't be too much film to look at. That's nice. Nice pass breakup. Hmm. He got there a little early. Could have been a flag. Uh no, maybe not. Maybe not. Nice. He's a good he's a good open field tackler. Not you know good, not above average or anything like that, but he's he's a good tackler. Except for right there, but the other dude got him, so he's straight. Hmm. Nice. It's a nice pick. It's a bad throw, under threw it, but man's got to pick it, so I give him some credit. Give him some credit there. He stared him down too. I mean, he, that was a terrible throw. He stared him down, so that was that was good. He played the quarterback's eyes, and uh, just went that way. Nice. It's a nice tackle, man. He's he's solid. He's it's okay. Mm, did he get another one? Nice tackle. Yeah, I I do like this. I'm liking this kid a little bit, a little bit more. I I like him better than the kid from last year. Uh, I forgot the I forgot the safety from last year, but I did not like him. Or a couple years ago, it could have been. Hmm. That's a catch. Y'all celebrating like y'all? Mmm. Nice sack. Alright, so that's going to do it for uh, Deontay Thompson. Uh, again, I am personally not, a, and I'm, I'm speaking from a, a Panthers fan perspective. I'm not a fan of uh, of draft. This guy's uh, he's ranked as the, the number one overall safety uh, in this year's draft. And personally, as a Panthers fan, I'm not interested in spending a first round pick on a safety in any draft unless I know I'm getting like a uh, like a, a, a dag on for sure, surefire Hall of Famer or something like that. Like, I think we have we got Eric Reed. Uh, well, we should be we're working on re-signing Eric Reed. That should be happening at some point during the offseason. And I'm, and we have uh, a young uh, Galden, Rashawn Galden, back there. I think he deserves another year uh, to to let him, uh, in, you know, learn the system a little bit more and become uh, a little bit better, a little more comfortable uh, back there. So I'm not interested personally uh, as a Panthers fan in drafting this guy in the first round, maybe second, third, but I don't know if he falls that far as the rankings have him like very high. So. He, you know, he's a good tackler. I give him that. He's a good tackler. Um, I thought he got caught biting on a couple coverages. He was late. And again, it's, I go back to this because their front four uh, get so much pressure and their front seven get so much pressure. 
that you're going to get Aaron throws. And he was late on a couple of good ones that should have been touchdowns if the quarterback put it on, put it in the right place. So he could be, and that's just, um, you know, it's again, it's just one of the, one of the things with Bama secondary uh, secondary players. I just don't like them, but uh, that's just my opinion. Um, that being said, like, subscribe, meet me in the comments. Uh, there should be a, a lot of comments on this video because I know there's a lot of people that like this kid. Um, and I'm not that I don't like him. I just don't want him drafted. All right. By the Panthers. All right. That being said, like, subscribe. Peace out.